Hello, everyone. I'm Sign One News anchor Jethro Woodall. Here's a quick look at the top trending stories making headlines today. If you post an interesting comment during this update, we may add it at the bottom of the screen. So let's take a look at what's happening today. More and more gas stations on the East Coast are running out of gas because people are anxiously filling up their tanks after a ransomware attack shut down a crucial pipeline. White House officials say there is not a fuel shortage right now. But nor nervous drivers lining up to hoard gas tanks could cause gas stations to run out. I'm still alive, so I'm fine. If you've been to your local grocery store lately, you may have noticed a shortage on chicken as well, especially wings. And that's because according to officials with Tyson Foods, the world's largest meat producer, a new breeding rooster they tried out recently is, well, let's just say he's lacking the skills to produce hatchlings. So Tyson says it is kicking the new rooster out of the hen house and bringing back its original breeding rooster. Poor rooster. After weeks of protests and demands, a judge finally allowed the family of Andrew Brown Jr. to see 20 additional minutes of body camera video of Brown's fatal encounter with law enforcement officials. The Browns attorney says the video clearly shows an unjustified killing because Brown was unarmed and never posed a threat. However, North Carolina authorities say the investigation into the shooting is still ongoing. We have an update to the story we brought you earlier this week regarding the shooting in Times Square. Police say three innocent bystanders, a four-year-old girl and two adult females were wounded. Police have now identified this man. 31-year-old Farrakhan Muhammad as a man they say opened fire Saturday in Times Square. According to an NYPD spokesperson, authorities are still looking for Muhammad and all three victims have been released from the hospital 
and are expected to recover. I hope they catch him soon. Award-winning singer-songwriter Demi Lovato is going after UFOs and intends to prove aliens are out there in the Peacock Network four-part series entitled Unidentified with Demi Lovato. According to the show description, Lovato, who describes herself as a true believer, will interview scientists and alien abductees and even do her own experiments in hopes of proving to skeptics that intelligent life exists beyond Earth and that many of them have visited Earth. That's an interesting TV show. Are you a believer or not? Ninety-five year old former coal miner and World War II vet Cecil Lockhart from West Virginia is now in the record books as the oldest organ donor in history. Lockhart was inspired to become an organ donor after his son's death in 2010 and tissue donations from his son helped 75 people and his corneas restored sight to two others. Experts say there is no cutoff age for organ donation. The only requirement is the organs have to be suitable for transplant. By the way, the previous record for oldest donor was 93 years old. Honestly, the body and, and all of that is simply fascinating. Well, that's all for today. Sign One News will be broadcasting live updates Monday through Friday. Then this Saturday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, join us for a live panel of diverse guests to discuss the hot topics of the week. Again, be sure to post your thoughts and comments at any time during any of the live shows. We might even share your comment. A big thank you to our Sign One News app subscribers. You help make this broadcast happen. Thank you. You can download the Sign One News app by heading to the App Store or Google Play Store on your smartphone. You can also watch on Apple TV, Apple Watch, Amazon, and Roku. Have a wonderful day, everybody. 95, an organ donor at 95.